Now I'll wrap this up. I'm going to uh, change the name of this folder to Devil's Lake Powers of Ten. And um, this is the one that was created by GPS Visualizer. And I'm going to make a new folder inside it, um, which you can buy going to folder. Oops. And you got to do that with the folder. You want to put it inside highlighted or you'll have to move it. And I'm going to call this one Devil's Lake Powers of Time 2. These are the real deal. And I'm going to move these inside it. Drag, drag, drag. The new one you drag in will be moved to the top of the list. So you want to put it in the order you want put it in or you'll have to rearrange it. I'm going to turn these off. You might have noticed that I created another box in the interim. Oops. Something out there that I didn't really need to. And uh, um, this only gets us out part way. And 10,000 meters is the distance between the Earth, or the equator and the pole rather. So you can't draw a box that size on here, so what I've been doing is placing a place mark at the limb of the Earth, which means where the um, Earth meets the space, essentially. And I'm going to paste in some text there. So on um, the seventh video of the original, you'll find the text for the labels and maybe on some other ones too. So here's the title of what I am about to call that place mark. Where the kilometer comes from. And then I'll paste in this set of paragraphs. We'll cooperate. was originally defined as one ten thousandths of the distance between the equator and the pole. This goes on to say that there's some reasons that it's difficult. Now I'm going to um, snapshot the current view that uh, takes a picture looking at it this way and put it into the uh, um, uh, video that way. So now I've got the Devil's Lake Powers of Ten that just has the boxes included. I can play it. And it'll zoom me through it. Now this does not have the innermost box that is in the other tutorials. That's done still in the same old way. So we don't get down to one meter by one meter innermost boxes, I should say. Ten centimeters by ten centimeters here. And so on. But uh, other than that, it plays it out pretty well. Some gaps caused by the terrain, I think, close up when you get further away. It's not bringing my labels up, which means that I don't have it set in my settings correctly. So I'm going to pause this and go to Preferences and Touring, I believe. And it should show balloons when waiting at features, and it's not. I don't, that may be because I don't have any text in the balloons. So let me pause the recording. So I added some text to the balloons, which I'm going to add some more here by just copying from that pre-arranged text. And you can customize this if you see fit. And I think that's why the balloons weren't opening before. So now I'll play a little bit again. And you can see the balloons popping up with some descriptive text as we zoom out. And that works pretty well. Five minutes. Recording on here. A thousand kilometers by a thousand kilometers, which is 